So you are a singer, you became an actress and now you're into politics and you look all of 18. How did you manage to do all this at such a young age? So being a Bengali, वो मेरे कल्चर में ही था सिंगिंग तो बचपन में वो माहौल था घर पे सिंगिंग का एंड आई एम ट्रेन विद इन एंड क्लासिकल म्यूजिक हाउ डिड द जर्नी बिगिन एंड वेयर डिड द जर्म ऑफ एक्टिंग कम इनटू यू कीड़ा I think I always kind of had it ever since I was young. I was kind of like a ringleader in a sense. Okay. And you know, बचपन में मम्मी डैडी हमेशा आपको embarrass करने के लिए acting कराते थे. Just do something for the guests. And you know, a lot of people think that Jason is from Britain and Ireland and America and all of that. But the fact of the matter is, he's from South Bombay. Politics join करके क्या आप सिर्फ अपने लिए एक्सपीरियंस नया चाहती हैं या देश के लिए कुछ करना चाहती हैं? As I told you कि there was no plan कि मुझे पॉलिटिक्स में आना है, so it was all destiny and I want to give my chance कि एक बार try करके देखती हूँ काश मैं कुछ कर पाऊँ। You've been a smoker in the past, I've been a smoker. We both quit at a time wherein we could quit. There is something called vaping which is taking over the consciousness of today's teenagers. I've Gone through it myself, and it's the toughest thing. The moment you see somebody vaping, puff se kuch nahi hota. Yeah. Again, I think it was the fasting that helped me say no. Really? Because oh, wow. again, you you need some kind of a system. The day that you get up and you say, "Look, okay, I might not be able to let all ten go today, but I'm going to try five, and then go down to three. I was at two and a half packets, so that's more than. I would smoke on TV sets probably more than 50 a day. Wow. Yeah, I was not in a good place. At one point I couldn't memorize dialogue without a cigarette. So I think the smoking the actual habit kind of gives you something to do. So replace it with doing something else. In that time if you replace it by doing something else, you'll find how many things you'll be able to. Wow, replace. that's superb, yeah? yeah. I never thought of that. Nobody's ever said that also. <laughs> that's great. Welcome to Unstoppable with me Rohit Roy powered by Right Bite Max Protein. Today we have yet another extraordinary episode lined up for you with two remarkable individuals who have carved their own paths to success and they are here to share the highs and lows of the journey and inspire all of you while we are at it. My first guest today, what can I say? I am a tad bit jealous of him. He has all the women drooling over him since Sanjay Leela Bansali's Hira Mandi hit the screens. This multifaceted actor and fitness model Jason Shah. Jason has captivated audiences with his impeccable performances, but more importantly for me and this show, he is as fit as hell. Joining Jason is the talented Amika Shell, a singer turned actress known for her role as Vayu Pari in Balvi Returns. You've seen her there. She also made her mark in Hindi films, web series, and television, including her real. Really, I think breakthrough role as Ankita Jain in Lakshmi. Recently, Amika has now stepped into politics by joining the BJP, combining her acting career with public service. So, without further ado, let's welcome Jason. And how do you pronounce your name? Amika. In Bengali, how do you say? Amika. Amika. <laughs> There you go. Let's welcome Amika. Before I go to Jason, I'm going to ask you. So, you are a singer. You became an actress, and now you're into politics. And you look all of 18. How did you manage to do all this at such a young age? Or how did you start? How did you start from singer? Did you participate in any show in the singer? In the reality show? So, being a Bengali, it was in my culture. Yes, yes. From childhood, classical music. Your voice is very mature. If you talk about it, it feels like the city is falling. Huh? Maybe. Being a Bengali, I think right. everybody's yes, voice yes. is like that. Yeah. So, it was the place in childhood. It was the place in the house. And I am trained with Indian classical music. Oh, nice. So career starting ही music से ही हुआ। Okay. Kolkata में ही हुआ? Kolkata में ही हुआ। Then I did lot of reality shows, सारे गांव आप। अच्छा you did all that? Voice of India। Okay. या तो Kolkata Mumbai की journey जो है बचपन से ही है। Okay. And then I finally came to Mumbai and Mumbai कब आए आप? It's been I think more than six years. And I started my career as a singer. Hmm. Then Mumbai की destiny होती है ना? हाँ हाँ of course. तो फिर वो acting में लेके गई and और ये पॉलिटिक्स में कैसे आना हुआ? बस आई गोट दी ऑपरेशनिटी के भारत भारतीय जनता पार्टी के युवा मोर्चा टीम में 
so i just got this opportunity and told bengalis I took you know are uh, a lot of uh, they they have culture they have singing and they have a lot of politics in their blood <laughs> any corner of kolkata you we say adda marchi in that adda you're not talking about uh, anything else but politics and world politics and they are very aware chai dukane chai dukane chai dukan means chai ki dukan taste all <laughs> jason a shah such a shah everybody wants to know what's this shah so my um you could say my stepfather uh, was gujarati okay so mom married him before i was born okay and um yeah he adopted me in right. a sense uh, took me into his family gave me everything and i stole the surname the surname <laughs> and and you like were telling me before we started rolling that he is your dad yes He's i mean the one. the one who raised me took right. care of me traveled uh, traveled me the world taught me everything i know um I wouldn't have it any other way. Right of course and uh, you know a lot of people think that Jason is from Britain and Ireland and America and all of that but the fact of the matter is he's from South Bombay. Yes. <laughs> Tell us more about your beginnings and you know you obviously are into fitness which is very evident. Uh, you also told me that you were a budding cricketer mm. and you somehow gave all that up to become an actor to become a model and now you're doing touch wood very well. Uh, how did that journey begin and where did that germ of acting come into you? Kida. Um I think I always kind of had it ever since I was young I was kind of like a ring leader in a sense okay and you know bachpana mein mummy daddy hamesha aapko embarrass karne ke liye bolte acting karate the <laughs> just do something <laughs> for the guests <laughs> right. you know so acha aapke mata pita bhi karate can you dance can you uh -huh. sing something so I think being in front of people became you know natural my mm. dad was also the national chairman um for the blind in india for oh. almost 15 years of oh, nab yes oh wow so we growing up have always been in front of a lot of people right um obviously they were blind but we did concerts for them so again we were put on stage from a very young age we also did lots of charity with him mm. uh, went to lots of prisons around mumbai especially um helped with poor in general so i think that kida you know just starts mm. to build performing arts yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um as life goes sometimes you start somewhere and it takes you somewhere else my first dream on i wanted to be a cricket player right yeah i was bowling at tell about. me more about that because that also has to do with fitness mental and physical um i i think i was playing it since i was young you know har gali mein cricket ho raha hai kids love it in this country i think it is kind of like the national sport in right. a way um at least by heart you could say for mm. most and i i loved it i loved being outdoors i got to meet new people i was always being introduced to a you know huge bunch of new kids so made a lot of friends that way i experienced a lot um and i think it just grew from there i went to australia played for a year i was bowling oh, at about nice. 140 when i was about What? 17 years old wow. i was quite quick That's incredible. I used to chuck when I was oh. in India and oh. Oh, gali cricket mein chucking ho gaya like sure but actually ah. I loved it. Right. Um but once I went to Australia they straightened out my Great. arm and uh yeah unfortunately when I came back to India I I really wanted to play for India but um having a British passport and playing for Ranji Trophy doesn't work. Mm. So yeah I guess I just kind of pivoted from there. Well if you're bowling at 140 I can safely say that it was India's loss because I mean you know yeah we we, we <laughs> would have, have been fun. <laughs> it would have been fun yeah. So let's dive into what we are here for. I'll start with him. Uh fitness you know today's day and date uh, fitness uh, takes center stage. any profession that you're in you have to be mentally and physically very 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 clever and um, we were discussing before uh, we came on the show that the one thing which is kind of hitting everybody is that they don't know what to do about fitness there's mm. so much of information on on the net you want to ask something you just google in the tag words and they give you like there are 10 um, research papers about one particular thing what is your fitness mantra how do you work out what does your typical uh, workout look like um a lot of questions in that no so let me make it simple <laughs> how do you work out and what's your mantra for me it's the gym i love it right. i do spend time outdoors as well i love my walks i love going for a walk in the evening playing a little bit of football with some friends not really um you could say competitive level right. because of you know injuries and stuff like mm. that but staying active being able to move 
I think fitness is more than a mantra. I think I do it even when I don't feel like it. And oh. I think that's a, that's a key element that even for me, because I think everybody, even in my family, they look at me and they're like, yeah, but saying no for you is easy. I'm like, that's what you think. Yeah. You know, I still have to say no to sugar. I still have to say no to fried food. I love fried food. Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? So saying no, I think, is a, big, yeah. is a big part. Also, I think I came from the generation that was willing to make a mistake. You know, we weren't scared of the risks. Correct. Nowadays, I hardly see a kid with a cast. You know, in my generation, every second kid, every third week had a cast on. Right. We were signing it, we were tearing it Correct. off. Correct, I remember that. You yes. know, look around you. Uh, None. Why do you I think that's happening? Are they, are they not the taking enough phone. risks? I think it's the mobile phone. I think mm. it's technology. I think people have, have become so much here that they've, you know, just They forget stopped, what's around them. Yeah, to look up. You know, instead of always at their phone. You still do the outdoorsy things? Or have yes, you also absolutely. got into your phone? Because I didn't see you pick up your phone even once since been, you've been here. <laughs> I don't like to. I've actually had to make a conscious effort to say, okay, now no more phone. Um, because you're in it for like a minute and then you look up and you're like, oh my God, this three hours have gone yes. by and I've just been sitting here looking at reels. Most of it is crap information. Most of it is information coming from people that are selling you something based on a business front. Right. So you'll see these gorgeous looking men and women, you know, women saying you can get these kind of glutes in six weeks. I'm pretty sure she'll back me up. That yeah. doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. Um, no, that doesn't <laughs> it happen. doesn't. Yeah. Or a guy who's standing there with these gorgeous eight pack abs saying you can get this in six weeks. Um, follow the money. Yeah. It's, it's not going to happen for gonna. you. And I think that's a huge part that this generation then gets let down. You know, they're like, I tried, I put so much effort and it's not happening. You know, this guy, I've, I've bought his course and it's still not happening. Not and I'm yeah. like, that's because you didn't ask the right person the right questions. questions. You have to hold that thought about being let down because we have a lot to talk about that front. And uh, I think that is most important in today's day and date for today's generation to talk about mental health mm. and mental, you know, I won't say mental health, I'll say mental resilience. Mm. Like you said, even on a bad day, you want to go and work out and you do. Coming to you, <laughs> my God, you're donning a lot of hats. I uh, think <laughs> that I talk with Bengali, but I talk Bengali, I talk about Bengali. I talk about Bengali, I talk about so, I Hindi. I want to ask you that if you are a singer, then you need to do a vocal training for a singer. And vocal training means that you have to take care of your vocal cords. If you are an actor, then you can see that 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 you can उसके लिए एक अलग किस्म की ट्रेनिंग जरूरी होती है ये तीनों चीजों के लिए आपका ट्रेनिंग मंत्रा क्या है कैसे अपने आप को फिट रखती हैं मेंटली एंड फिजिकली सबसे पहले तो फिटनेस इज आल्सो लाइक लाइक अ पैशन फॉर मी तो आई डू जिमिंग एवरीडे जी जी मैंने देखा आपके वीडियो देखा Okay. That is my main mantra of the regular life. Okay. So I do meditation like every day in the morning. Bachpan se hi karti hu. Actually, ye start tab se hua jab bachpan mein thoda sa mental halat kharaab ho rahi thi. Like there is so much thoughts going inside, you know. So I went to doctor ke paas gayi. So he suggested me to start meditating. Doctor as in uh, psychologist normal, or gen normal? General doctor. Normal physician. So mom okay. leke gayi thi. And I was like, कुछ hey, mental issues हो रहे थे. Hmm. And uh, he suggested me to start do meditation. And when I started, मैंने देखा बहुत सारे changes आने लगे body में, mental health में. तो मैंने उसको continue. किस उम्र से आपने शुरू किया था? I think I was uh, in the like standard one, one or two. You were in standard one or two? Yeah. At the age of seven, she started meditating. Wow, that's <laughs> yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yes, I mean, yes. most people don't even know about it while they're... Meditation, yeah. yes. So, I mean, I didn't do so much deeply. But at least sit for a minute, fit for 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and open your eyes. It gives a lot of relaxation in your body. It does, it does. Exactly. So, I started my meditation from now. And I do it today. I do it today. Every day in the morning, I sit for... Like half an hour. Any particular form of meditation or you just open your eyes and just breathe? Just take some, I mean, the eye of the center of the eye. So, chakra meditations. Exactly. 
एंड बॉडी के जो सात चक्र होते हैं तो वो सब मेडिटेट करना जरूरी है तो हमारे तो जैसे आप जिम जाती हैं वैसे ही आप रोज मेडिटेट करती हैं लाइक दैट यस यस दैट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रेगुलर लाइफ आई थिंक तो आई थिंक मेडिटेशन काफी चीजों में हेल्प करती है जब uh, हमारा मेंटल स्टेट हमारे कंट्रोल में हो तो काफी प्रोग्रेस में वो हेल्प करती है आप सौ लड़कियों में आप स्टैंड आउट करते हो तो आई थिंक कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ता है कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ता है एंड आई थिंक दैट्स खूबसूरत तो होते हैं पावर आई डोंट नो दैट आई टेक केयर टेक एज एन आई नो 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 एब्सोल्युटली आई एम श्योर जेसन यू लुक ग्रेट जेसन यू डिड बोथ अ वेरी गुड लुकिंग या बोथ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड यू आर फैंटास्टिक सो द मोमेंट आई वॉक्ड इन हियर जेसन वाज सिटिंग एंड आई हैव कम टू दिस ऑफ सेवरल टाइम्स द मोमेंट ही वॉक्ड इन अदर गर्ल्स आर गोइंग <laughs> and the, 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 the cross oh my god that girl was crossing you and he just i told him that go mic up i'll come and she went i've seen this in ads today is the first time i've actually seen it so no coming back to uh, meditation you uh, were about to mention something and then we kind of moved on so what are your thoughts on meditation it's, it's a very good point i think you know when when somebody thinks meditation especially now i think everybody aligns that with or oh, it has to be some form it has to be some kind of religion it has to be you know mm. and and things get complicated so fast i love what she said is just take that moment yep. it's reflect what happened to me yesterday process what do i want to do today just get your thoughts together because from thoughts come ideas you know but if there's just so many thoughts hitting your mind and you're not making sense of anything um they'll tear you down i think eventually yeah. you know they'll take away from the actual person that you are and who you're destined to be so i say have a talk with destiny in the morning you know and just yeah. see what's up you know see where you want to take that that's a very good way of putting day. it yeah. yeah so i also believe in uh, vipassana it's a very simple form of meditation so you know when we meditate when we do vipassana uh they actually tell you not to focus on anything exactly say don't form a symbol in your mind for sure you don't have to chant just sit shut your eyes and breathe and yeah. follow your breathing exactly. that's the best way to relax and yeah. earlier the first time i went all my friends told me ke come on yaar you are never going to be able to do it because i talk so much i talk for a living <laughs> right and there 11 days of aryam on aryam on means i can't even communicate with you through my eyes okay. i can't look at you i have to look down for 11 days and not speak Mm. That was the best experience of my life. I think it changed me. Wow. I just want to ask you yes, one question. Yes, please. After this, मतलब क्या changes अब में आया? So one thing, like obviously, you say your mind gets exhausted with so much of information and thought, mm. and especially the phone and anything that you know. I am also addicted to it in a way. I like him. I try to get away, but that addiction is real. Even the, our profession is like that. Yeah. Okay, we have to check the phone. What's what? And came. you have to create so much stuff. You exactly. know, going through your side. You know, you're not that. big into it yet but yeah. i feel that you <laughs> will get sucked into it you know mm. and uh, yeah so to answer your question it gave me a lot of peace i felt relief at the end of those 10 days i became more quieter i started looking inward which i never used to do because you know when things are great things are going well you don't stop and pause mm. to assimilate your thoughts mm. I, which i never did and for 15 years when i was doing television and film simultaneously i was continuously on a roller coaster 2014 what i mentioned is the first time i went to vipassana and it just changed me i guarantee you since you already meditated if you were to go to vipassana hmm. it will open a door that you don't even know is there and i'm saying this from experience True. i never say anything on the podcast or otherwise which hmm. i don't strongly believe in So that is something that I definitely advocate. Exactly, there is no form. Can we? Is he meditation? Yeah, no, karna like you said, there is no form chahi. necessary. We spoke about uh, mental health. As you realize, since the COVID, because we'll stay on the mental health and uh, fortitude for a while. Uh, uh, you know, since the COVID lockdown, a lot of mental issues have started cropping up. A lot of suicides have started happening because of their mental anguish. Now, growing up, we didn't have a name to give. We, you know, our parents could never tell us that, oh, you are going through a panic attack, or because maybe we didn't know better, they didn't know better. Mm. Today, there's so much of labeling. Mm. Oh, you're going through this. Oh, you need to take this medication. But the flip side is there are there is a huge increase in the percentage of suicides. Mm. Do you see a correlation between what we went through in 2019, 2020, uh, with the lockdown, where the whole world was locked down? and do you see any correlation between 
the vaccine and ill health today and you can speak as much as you know or you're aware of um mental health i think always see the thing is is for me at least what i've discovered is there's three steps there's the spiritual there's the mental and there's the physical whatever the physical body is showing you is usually a correspondence between your mental and your spiritual strength if you've got that fit trust me you will need to go to the gym this is what i tell people is that once you've figured out what your path is to stay spiritually connected to you know i call it i i say he's god some people yeah. say it's the universe or however you want to you know attach True. yourself to once that is a help because it's a guide then your mental stability steps in then automatically your body is going to be able to make good choices but because there's no spiritual access right now in most people's lives they just feel they can't find it or it's not for them eventually you're going to find yourself in a mental crisis crisis yeah. and now that crisis is going to you know portray a lot of different things in your health um you'll feel anxiety attacks which now people then start putting medication in their body for mm. anxiety can be treated with um actually just getting your mental stability straight if that is right by connecting to a spiritual force you'll find people pull themselves out of anxiety yes, i've read about that you know or yes. depression because somebody was asking me well isn't it tough to stay fit like you isn't it like it takes commitment i'm like doesn't it take commitment to be depressed all the time isn't true, that tough true like don't you want to you change know, your uh, life <laughs> i'm glad you're saying this because not many people say it because you know it's become such a touchy topic yeah that uh, a people have started using the word very loosely yeah so loosely not as oh yeah i'm depressed you know, earlier uh it didn't seem that we are using it loosely because there was not so much of it and today people are talking about it but i'm glad uh you saying uh, that yeah it it takes a lot of effort to say i'm depressed all day long yeah. what do you do to come out of that because i know for a fact that a lot of my friends have gone through it and they are on medication hmm. uh i agree with you that there are other ways of getting out of it what would you suggest to the young audiences who are going through a lot of shit every day you know it's not only our profession that has got a lot hmm. of stress every profession especially when you're starting off what do you think that they should do if they don't want to get on medication i would say put yourself under scrutiny a little bit also um appreciate yourself mm. i think you know you'll have you'll be an idol of an actor you'll you know i've seen people trying to get the cold play tickets like right. crazy. oh my god <laughs> like do you spend as much effort on yourself self yeah you know are you as like you're you're so determined for other things in that you're doing in your life are you as determined about things in your own life question yourself why why do i have that reaction when somebody treats me like that in a wrong way mm. go back into your childhood you know there's this whole thing of don't look back don't look back you're this new version of yourself and i'm like i fail to understand that because i have to go back sometimes a lot more than i would like just to understand hey why do i have that click or why do i have this tweak isn't that difficult that, to do though jason it I mean, is you're talking about regression in a way yes because you have to be honest with yourself and mm. there's a lot of false humility out there which you can carry it some people carry it really well but i think if it eventually breaks you because the only person that you should be completely honest with is yourself, is yourself. and i think people are finding that hard why it's also because they don't have a lot of people around them or haven't placed themselves in an environment where there is a lot of truth being spoken they like the people that are like oh you're a great actor most of the time i'm like bye to please true but kiss you or ko pooch na so it's it, it is just making those kind of very conscious decisions and then look i'm not saying i'm completely against medication No, no 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 we are not saying that no. and also we are not uh, medical professionals mm. to tell them yes or no i mean i i, I would like to say at pause uh, this conversation that you must go and see a medical professional if you think it's really affecting you uh this is a discussion where we are talking about alternate methods correct you know, but first please please go yeah. and uh, check it out because yeah. i think as you said alternatives i think you go and you ask anybody anything or let's just say 
अगर मैंने नया गाड़ी खरीदी तो पहले सवाल तो लोगों का होता है कि लेकिन इसका ब्रेक फेलियर मैंने सुना है इसके बारे में है, वो है। ये है। उल्टी सीधी बातें पहले पूछते हैं यू यू आर सो नो डिटरमिन टू फाइंड आउट ऑल द लिटिल यू नो थिंग्स दैट नेगेटिव थिंग्स सैड ह्यूमन ट्रेड एग्जैक्टली बट अबाउट योर सेल्फ यू वॉन्ट डू दैट no but now if i go to that place it's just going to be a lot of alcohol i'm going to land back at the same place again on sunday morning which means monday sluggish why not take a couple weeks off and say no to all of those friends that want to take you out drinking Good one. you know stop dehydrating yourself before the week i'm like yeah cuz you don't like mondays i don't even know what monday is in our profession we're There's usually no working yeah. saturday sunday doesn't matter yeah it doesn't you know? matter true so then it's again what label have you put on that particular day and then is it somebody else's concept that you're just like no mondays have to be bad are you critical mondays about yourself jason very that's very? why i don't watch myself So okay. even with Hira Mandi, I watched one or two scenes, and that's yeah. it. Otherwise, I'll be sitting. No, boy, you didn't do it. What did you do? But I'm very much like that. I never watch my. I never watch my take because I never like myself, and I'll never want to go to the next take, right? So I've stopped watching right from Swami Man. I've never watched myself. I think Ever. same, same for me. But because that's, that's we get very conscious, yeah. like. ये थोड़ी सी गलती हो गई है 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 ये 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 थोड़ा बाल ठीक नहीं लग रहा क्लासिकली गुड लुकिंग पर्सन एंड आई गॉट लकी एज एन एक्टर सो आई सेट के मैं देखूंगा तो मेरे को लगेगा कुछ भी अच्छा नहीं किया बट आई एम ग्लैड थ्री ऑफ आर्स थिंक लाइक आपको मैं ये पूछना चाहता हूँ कि आप जैसे इन्होंने बहुत सारी अच्छी अच्छी बात बताई मेडिकल मेंटल फोर्टिट्यूड के बारे में लेकिन वहां तक पहुंचना बहुत मुश्किल है और आपने इतनी कम उम्र में इतने सारे चीजें की हैं आपने मेडिटेशन के बारे में बात किया है लेकिन सिर्फ मेडिटेशन तो काफी नहीं होता है आज की जिंदगी में मैं आपको ये तो बता सकता हूँ आप अपने आप को कैसे स्ट्रांग रखती है चाहे वो एक ऐसी अरिना में आप कदम रखने वाली है पॉलिटिक्स में जहाँ पे तो आपको बहुत ही हार्ड स्किन होना पड़ता है कैसे अपने आप को बताती हैं? आई थिंक अपार्ट फ्रॉम द पहले मुझे ये बताइए कि गाना गाने से एक्टिंग समझ में आता है एक्टिंग और गाने से पॉलिटिक्स में कैसे I just got the opportunity like some one of my common friends just approached me ke why don't you just try Jee. so i was like okay let's try because i want to try different things in my life right. because i was a singer then i came into acting i got good opportunities in acting Jee, Jee, Jee. so i thought ki meri destiny kuch bol rahi hai and i should follow that acha so in that way i i thought ki i should give it a try in politics parivar mein koi the politics nahin, nahin. koi nahi परिवार इज टोटली लाइक जॉब एंड डॉक्टर इंजीनियर सो आई एम वेरी आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स पर्सन एंड आई वुड लव टू एक्सप्लोर मेनी थिंग्स सो दैट्स व्हाई डर नहीं लगता पॉलिटिक्स में जाते हुए ऑफ कोर्स डर तो लगता है सो दैट्स द बिगिनिंग ऑफ एनी प्रोफेशन एक्चुअली बिकॉज द फैमिली आई बिलोंग फ्रॉम इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स थिंग सो व्हेन आई केम टू बॉम्बे माय होल फैमिली वाज लाइक व्हाट द हेल शी इज डूइंग आई मीन no contacts no family over there you came alone here I you moved came alone wow. over here i took a pg in a uh, bombay so wahan se yahan tak ki journey it was absolutely like ups and downs hmm. so much experience so i'm like so blessed mere mera bhai jo chota wala hai cousin wo to abhi bhi bolta hai kuch nahi se kuch hmm. so it's a huge so that's a that's a good line kuch nahi se kuch kuch <laughs> so that's a huge change kya karna chahti hai politics join karke uh, क्या आप आ, सिर्फ अपने लिए एक्सपीरियंस नया चाहती हैं या देश के लिए कुछ करना चाहती हैं सच बताइएगा ये कोई मिस यूनिवर्स का नहीं 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 बिल्कुल नहीं देश के लिए डेफिनेटली करना चाहूंगी बट एज आई टोल्ड यू के देर वॉज नो प्लान कि मुझे पॉलिटिक्स में आना है सो इट वॉज ऑल डेस्टिनी एंड आई वॉन्ट टू गिव माई चांस के एक बार ट्राई करके देखती हूँ काश मैं कुछ कर पाऊँ एंड अगर डेस्टिनी ने साथ दिया तो डेफिनेटली आई विल डू समथिंग कहां तक देखते हैं अपने आपको जाते हुए पॉलिटिक्स अभी तक <laughs> मैंने कुछ ड्रीम में देखा नहीं बिकॉज़ इट्स अ वेरी बिग स्टेज सो आई हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम समवेयर तो अभी बस वही बिगिनिंग स्टेज पे हूं का, काफी लोग हैं जो एक्टर्स हैं जो बहुत अच्छा कर रहे हैं जैसे स्मृति जी हैं बिल्कुल uh, वो पॉलिटिक्स में गई सबने तभी पूछा था कह रहे ये तो एक और एक्टर आ गया है वोट बैंक मिलेगा बट वो वाकई अच्छा काम कर रही है तो अपने exactly. आप को आप सोचती हैं कि आप अभी तक मैंने उतना नहीं ड्रीम देखा है और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हम आ, सोच के कुछ नहीं कर सकते वी जस्ट हैव टू डू आर वर्क एवरी डे एवरी मोमेंट्स वी हैव टू एंजॉय दैट वट एवर यू सो यूर इन द मोमेंट एग्जैक्टली सो दैट्स लाइक इट्स वेरी यंग विद वेरी वाइज थॉट्स वेरी नाइस वेल डन
<laughs> Jason, coming back to you. Uh, now, this is a kind of a personal question. You know, um, when I was younger, mm. we had several uh, distractions, must I say. And then we decided, okay, okay, now for the benefit of my next 25 years, I want to cut off the fluff and focus on what's good. But I do find myself, uh, especially in terms of a diet, um, because this segment is about nutrition. I find myself falling off the wagon because I, I have a desperate sweet tooth. I'm a Bengali. I mean, you know, I used to land in Kolkata and I'd tell my producers that when I come to the car, I don't want to go to the hotel with the mystery. So, uh, how do you a, stay on the wagon okay, in terms of nutrition? Uh, and what do you do if you do fall off? How do you get back? A very simple question. Um, there is no simple answer to okay, that. Thank it, you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, I have um, a lot of Gujarati family, so I know. Oh my God! Fried <laughs> food and dokla patra. Kakra. It's, it's Kakra. a lot of sweet. They they even put sugar inside of the dal. Everything. Yeah. You know. Um, to be honest, again, it's just. For me, I'm like, okay, if it has to be like, I like chocolate cookies. I actually like um, chocolate caramel cookies with a little bit of oh salt. Oh my God. And those are my... Yeah, so, we that, have a protein bar for you. That's my weakness. Now that you said that, <laughs> this is my weakness, but which is good, a salted caramel. Alright. So, it's got that little salt on salt, it. Salt, salt, yeah. I'll give you one after we finish. Yeah. Again, it's just saying no. It's just being able to... And I think... How much whatever can you, you say do, no, Jason? If it oh, really man, gives you so my much family, happiness. I've got to say no, no all the time. I'd say no again. <laughs> <laughs> and I think growing up in India, you learn how to say no because you know you enter somebody's house and it's like, nee, beta, ye le lo. and the whole sweet factory yeah. comes Come out there, in yeah. front of you and you're like, my God, that's a week's worth yeah. of work. I think I, you can relate it like that, that, oh my God, if I put, if I easily, you know, fall into that trap, like, I've got to work a lot harder. More, yeah. And one thing I've always gone by is easy is never long lasting. So nice. a tougher decision, most of the time, you're going to be happier about it later. Um, I did have a lot of things that were a lot of distractions, a lot of addictions that right. weren't healthy for me on all three levels, yeah. spiritually, mentally and physically. physically yeah. um, and learning, I would say something that really helped me to build my, as you said, like your fortitude in your mind is fasting. I think if you oh, can nice. fast one to two, three days together, and I do no water, I just do one glass of water in the middle of the day. And that's it? And how many days have you gone on? Three days has been my most. Yeah. But it was insane. After I started, I think last year I must have done about 40 fasts. So I was last just... Last year? Like, in one second. In, in one, one year, year you did 43 day fasts? Uh, no. Again, so one, one two, to three days, okay. depending. But it was incredible what I just was able to start saying no to. And I found it so easy because I was like, now my mind is in check. Right. I'm in control. Wow. Yeah, I think most of us were not really in control of our actions and it's because you've not really set the balance right, you know. I, I, and I think it comes just from, you know, everyone says, I want to be a good human. But how do you get there? There's steps in the manual of being a good human. Is first give, then only are you going to receive, right? It's what you're giving out there in the world that, you know, you start to get True. back. It takes practice. After some time, you've got, you know, your voters in the back of the room, they'll be like, don't even offer him, he's going to say no. Say, wow. You know, so f first they're like, no, no, give it to him. And then second, they're like, don't even try. So I think so also, it's also about discipline. If you can yes. do a three day water Compromises yes. is Yeah, yes. if you can do that water fast and you said you have only one glass of water, your mind really needs to be disciplined to say, and then it becomes easier to say no. Is that what you're saying? It's crazy. By the first day that I did it, I was so energetic in the night. I was like, where's all of this energy? I haven't eaten a thing Where was it coming day. from? I think it's just your mind goes into survival mode. And I think, especially I feel bad and sympathetic for this generation that there's zero survival mode. They're just, mm. oh no, let's label it as that. There's medication for this. 
And it's like, no, just fight through it. You know, when I was young, we'd get a pat on our shoulder and don't worry, yeah, son, you'll get you'll through fine, it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. You'll be fine. And I think parents are just, they're pandering to it too much. Mm. Not that I'm a parent yet, so I can't speak so much. From right, that but I get angle. what you're saying. You know? But I can see it. It's just like, say, hey, buddy, you know, pick up your shoes and keep walking. Yeah, you yeah. know, if they're broken, we'll get one at the end of the beach. You know, something true, new. True, true, true. <laughs> yeah. And it's happened to oh, me. You before. know, I, I have. It's happened to me. I mean, I've been a uh, overindulgent parent till I realized this that you know maybe I'm just uh, Molly coddling my daughter too much. Yeah. And touch wood now, you know, she's kind of flowered. The day we let her away is when she she understood that she has to do stuff for herself. You're mm-hmm. very very right about that. You have a. Uh, Protective family or a progressive family? What would you say? Protective family. Protective family. Mm, very much. So you had to progress on your own. <laughs> Did you also very much for you? Very much the people who are behind the family. Hota na, Achha. Achha. Times ke. Achha. So the, the reverse of progressive. Reverse. Oh reverse, my god. Yes. You want to talk about it? Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> you must talk about it. Yes, I mean, yes. You know, that, oh, that, that's why I'm you back. No, yeah. actually, actually, hum just, uh, most of the Bengalis are from middle class family. Absolutely. Uh, so middle class family is very dangerous for your career. What I can say. So and that's true, very true. True. You're and right. everybody don't talk about this. But so I am a middle class family. So and they all are like, "Piche khichna, apko ye nahi karna chahiye, apko wo nahi karna chahiye." Dare rehte hain. Always, ah. always. They are very scared of ke karna nahi chahiye and all. So my family is like that. Doctor, engineer, job wale. And she wants to become a singer. It's like a stability. Where will she come from? Stability, Correct. security. बहुत yes. कुछ दिमाग में आता है पैसे कहाँ से आएंगे. And उससे भी ज़्यादा दूसरों को खींचना एक चीज़ होता है. So that's very common in middle class family. And वहाँ से मेरी mom was very supportive. Mom was supportive. Very much, very much. So बचपन से उन्होंने मुझे classical training में teachers के वहाँ पे लेके जाती थी. And she did lot of effort on me. And उसके लिए मैंने मॉम को देखा कि शी इज़ वेरी एग्रेसिव अबाउट माय करियर सिंगिंग करियर तो मैंने बस उनके ड्रीम को फॉलो करते करते यहाँ पे स्वीट एंड दैट्स हाउ आई स्टार्टेड हाउ स्वीट है तो हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं न्यूट्रिशन की और मैं थोड़ा सा बह गया था आपके सवाल में जेसन hmm. uh, का मानना है कि शुगर इज वर्स देन एल्कोहल और हम बंगाली हैं मैं तो बोल चुका हूँ कि मेरा स्वीट टूथ है ही है आप कि क्या राय है इस पर आप हमेशा फिट रहती हैं मैंने आपके वीडियोस देखे हैं इंस्टाग्राम पे यू वर्क आउट अ लॉट लेकिन न्यूट्रिशन के हिसाब से आप अपने आप को कैसे फिट रखती हैं और कभी लगता है कलकत्ते जाके कि ये ये भी खा लूँ वो भी खा लूँ दही भी खा लूँ मैं कल ही आई कलकत्ता से अच्छा कुछ लेके आई है तो भेज दीजिए मेरे घर पे अभी घर पे लेके हाँ जरूर जरूर जरू। तो uh, आजकल डंजो कर सकते हैं सो जैसे जेसन बोल रहे थे कि स्वीट को हमें अवॉइड करना चाहिए एंड ऑल डेफिनेटली वी डू बट व्हेन वी टच डाउन द कोलकाता देर इज लॉट ऑफ स्वीट ऑप्शन एंड इन मतलब अनबिलीव आप क्या करती है तो मना करते हैं नहीं मैं मना नहीं कर पाती वेन आई गो टू कैलकाता तो इन मुंबई आई एम स्ट्रिक्ट ऑन डाइट बट मैं आई इन कैलकाटा ओ माय गॉड स्वीट की दुकान पे जाके ये भी दे दो ये भी दे दो ये भी दे दो लगा के भी रखते हैं वैसे बिल्कुल मेरा पर्सनल मानना ये है कि बैलेंस जरूरी है बैलेंस जरूरी आई वाज टेलिंग जेसन दैट ऑल द डिस्ट्रैक्शंस वी हैड एट लीस्ट मी पर्सनली आई स्टॉप डूइंग इट इन मुंबई यहां पे मैं एक बात कहना चाहूंगी जी 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 बिल्कुल तो मैं मतलब हम जब करते हैं ये स्वीट मिष्टी दही यू सी सो कभी कभी कुछ चीज हमारे दिल के लिए करना चाहिए कि हमें क्या अच्छा लगता है कभी 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 इट्स नॉट ऑल द टाइम सो सम कॉम्प्रोमाइज इज नीडेड बट सम टाइम फॉर आर हार्ट तो हमारे ब्रेन में भी कुछ यू नो केमिकल्स अच्छे लगते हैं सो बहुत जरूरी है मेरा भी मैं जो कह रहा था वो यही कह रहा था कि It's called a cheat meal for a reason. Cheat, cheat. You cheat one, and you know people say it's a cheat day. It's not a cheat day. It's a cheat meal. One single meal. Cheat moment. Uh, so I, I do that too. But today, uh, someone said that sugar is worse than alcohol. Of so course, we all know that. How's what are your thoughts on dark chocolate? Please tell me that's okay, seventy percent. Yeah, chocolate. yeah, I think that's fine. I think chocolate is actually quite good for you. It's good for your heart, yeah, I believe, it's and a all good that. Stimulant. या तो चॉकलेट वाला कुछ मिठाई लाओगे तो मेरे को भेज है ना चॉकलेट में भी शुगर तो रहेगा ही हाँ थोड़ा शुगर थोड़ा शुगर चलता है दिस वन वेरी टची टॉपिक आई एम गोन टू गो इन टू विच इज द वर्स्ट एडिक्शन टू डेज किड्स है यू बिन अ स्मोकर इन द पास्ट आई बिन अ स्मोकर वी बोथ क्विट एट अ टाइम वेर इन वी कुड क्विट 
there is something called vaping which is taking over the consciousness of today's teenagers mm. which is the worst thing you can do to your life worst thing physically mentally everything um a why do you think that kids are getting into it so young and b how do you think they can quit it now i know you'll say okay, just say no but it's not so easy uh, to quit vaping I i've gone through it myself and it's the toughest thing the moment you see somebody vaping and we're sitting in a room nowadays you don't smoke inside a room but when you're vaping ek puff se kuch nahi hota hai yeah again it's i at least for me i don't know about um you so much but um coming off smoking again i think it was the fasting that helped me say really no, because oh, wow. again you you need some kind of a system you know i think if you say i can't do it which is the normal response for anything that you want to do the first response is no i can't again if you're going to tell your mind that Then you won't. can't you're never going to do it but the day that you get up and you say look okay i might not be able to let all 10 go today but i'm going to try 5 and then go down to 3 i was at two and a half packets so that's more than i would smoke on tv sets probably more than 50 a day wow yeah i was not in a good place so and that was due to work i would think was it because of pressure or was it just uh, uh, you know like an auto pilot thing that you're taking a break you're lighting a combination a i thought at one point i couldn't memorize dialogue without a cigarette oh, wow. it, now whether that was true whether it was the pressure because in tv you have a lot of pressure like i'd get 10 pages of urdu in the morning oh and i'm God. like sitting there and looking at it i'm asking the assistant director ki bhai is shab ka matlab kya hai bola don't worry sir just get angry jab aap bol do like okay here we go so you're facing a lot of those things which are a lot of it is mental so i think the smoking the actual habit kind of gives you something to do so replace it with doing something else continuously oh. carry a bottle of water a small bislery bottle and keep on sipping it every time you feel like a drag take a sip of water it's always replacing anything that you're doing in life is taking up a certain amount of time in that time if you replace it by doing something else you'll find how many things you'll be able to wow replace. that's superb yeah. yeah i never thought of that nobody's ever said that also <laughs> that's great uh tumne to baat tumhari koi buri aadat hai hi nahi na tum cigarette peete ho na sharab peete ho na kuch karte ho koi to aise she's india's bv number 1 no, 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 singer like no, actor <laughs> bjp matlab it's all that aaj ke dikhao ga ke dikhao koi to buri aadat hogi we are feeling very bad no no it's it's not feeling bad it's like common koi buri aadat nahi hai buri aadat wahi maine singing se shuruaat ki vice like he said he asked you english any vice at all any maine pehle hi wo cut kar diya ki mujhe ye iska addiction nahi karna that's how it kabhi bhi aapko ye pressure nahi raha tv sets pe ka fi aaye same roommate Haan, and she is taking it hai. yeah so she offered me i just rejected it so i stopped from the beginning only that's ye, how uh, culture to calcutta mein itna wide you know in calcutta uh, if you ask somebody can i smoke inside they get affronted they, of yeah. course where else would you smoke yeah so there are like ashtrays in the bathroom and the living room and the bedroom even mm -hmm. so how come you never nahi actually family mein mere papa utna smoke nahi karte the तो उतना नहीं करते थे कि नहीं करते थे बिल्कुल भी बहुत रेयरली बहुत रेयरली करते थे वो कल्चर नहीं था में वो मतलब पापा को कभी देखा नहीं उतना स्मोक करने तो घर पे भी सिगरेट्स नहीं है नहीं थी सो आई थिंक फॉर दैट रीजन ओनली आई नेवर ट्राइड इन द बिगिनिंग आल्सो बीइंग अ सिंगर वाज इट वन ऑफ द रीजंस दैट यू डोंट वांट टू स्मोक बीइंग अ सिंगर आई वाज ऑलवेज टोल्ड के ये स्मोक नहीं करना चाहिए अल्कोहल नहीं पीना चाहिए वोकल कॉर्ड खराब होती है इसलिए मेरी बिगिनिंग ही नहीं हुई अब जब बिगिनिंग ही नहीं हुई तो बड़े होने के बाद वो अचानक से ट्राई करना इट वाज लाइक वेरी प्रेशर कभी महसूस नहीं किया आपने कि कोई को एक्टर या बॉयफ्रेंड या कोई वो बोल रहा है कि चल यार एक से कुछ नहीं ऑलवेज मैंने भी बोला यू आर मेंटली स्ट्रांग इनफ टू यस यस अब आपसे सवाल ये है कि क्या आप यही थॉट अपने <coughs> उन कॉलीग्स को देती हैं जो स्मोक करते हैं नहीं मैं किसी को कुछ नहीं बोलती कि आपको ये नहीं करना चाहिए वो नहीं करना चाहिए क्यों नहीं बोलती दैट्स क्यों बुरा बनेंगे इसलिए no no that's their decision their life you know decision like uh, uh, i i i can do it on my own but if i ask jason who has done it and he gives me some kind of knowledge to it and how mm. to do it it mm. helps me to ye kehna na ki main inko ye nahi bolungi aur main tumse thoda senior hu to main tumko bol sakta hu upar se bangali bhi hu bol sakta hu ke bahut log apne aap ko rok lete hain ke no i don't give him advice advice free advice is cheap it is not really we have to change that mindset going forward anything helps 
I know. And if I, you know, if I become the villain in telling you something, Jason, don't do this. Maybe I'll become villain, but at least I might have put a thought into your mind. Mind, you should do it. Why not? Actually, start with one character. Some, some. No, you don't think. So some. No, you don't think. 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 No, आप बीजेपी के लिए काम कर रहे हैं एक दिन ये के लिए बहुत कुछ करना पड़ेगा इससे पहले क्या हमारी शुरुआत हुई पॉडकास्ट पे जिस तरह से शुरुआत करनी पड़ेगी और सुनते हैं लेकिन हमको ये कोशिश तो करनी पड़ेगी वो Actually, हाँ, आप क्या बोले थे पचास परसेंट सोचते हैं क्या हाँ मतलब काफी लोग ऐसे नहीं सोचते हैं कि why to listen to her? And कभी विलन बन तो आप सर्विस करने आई है हिंदुस्तान में आपने कहा कि विलन बन के क्या होते हैं हाँ. विलन जिसनेंगल <laughs> So I was just like, you know, should I leave it? Nah, come on, they're not gonna get any. I was like, Jason, get out. I got out and I said, hey guys, you're a bunch of beautiful people. Cut that stuff. Well out. done. I think well three done. of well them done. must have laughed at <clears throat> me. Well done. But one of them said thank you. Yeah. One of them said thank you. You know, and they, I could see they were most genuine. Other were like, yeah. Uh, because I think I never tried this, so that's why I didn't experience yeah. that kind of stuff. So, so also I'll tell you something. The reason we started this podcast. Hmm. is so that we can tell the people out there that listen if he can do it and he looks like this you can do it too exactly yeah. you see this looking like this doesn't come easy mm-hmm. or looking like this this is come doesn't come easy so i've always felt that through this podcast we have our guests telling people so i want you to give me one thing not the mithai yeah. <laughs> i want you to do exactly something like what jason did maybe not with random strangers start with one person who you are really fond of and he or she is not doing well in terms mm, of mm. some sort of addiction maybe it's so it's not easy to listen to you of course ah uh-huh. ha amika boleche ami kal ke tike chhere debo seta to hobe na even jason told me uh, told na ke three people laugh yeah let so, them laugh yeah exactly but that one person if one person looking at unstoppable mm. looking at jason decides ke okay if he could do it i can do it too mera to kaam safal ho gaya true the reason we started this you know uh, very interestingly they'd come to me to be a guest i said no i'd love to take this forward in a way yes. that i can reach out to the maximum audiences we talked about every single thing mm-hmm. so that's your promise you have to give me you're going to try okay promise done promise. you're being recorded on three cameras promise promise, promise? i'll promise? tell i'll okay, tell okay great great okay before we go now i asked you several questions um this is called the ask rohit segment <laughs> so now you can ask me a question uh, that you want about health nutrition fitness mental health what are we on what keeps you inspired to wake up in the morning to come every day to this job and all the other jobs that you have but you know unrelenting hmm. so uh, i'm very passionate about what i do i might be good That's i might right. be bad i might be okay hmm. but i'm very passionate about the smallest thing i do even for my podcast i mean i'm constantly i was in dubai for the last 5 days but i was constantly with my team uh, my wife always says wow you cool i mean you're doing your lines in dubai you know we go to dombivili to do our lines the point is i find <laughs> what we were discussing a little bit earlier that unless acting is a passion and not a job mm. you can't keep yourself inspired so my personal take is i am happy to come on the set i'm happy to have a camera to face i'm happy to talk to people like yourself who will inspire somebody out there mm. so i think that's the my resilience keeps me going that's my middle name rohit resilience roy rrr ho gaya isliye super hai sawal samajh mein aaya kuch abhi sawal samajh mein aa gaya chalo poocho nahi mujhe ye poochna tha matlab how you started your acting journey like what was your beginning ah so my uh, it was quite accidental actually i was going to ann arbor michigan 
to do my MBA and my visa got rejected and I was stuck in Bombay and uh, my then girlfriend uh, Mansi, she got a call for a TV show and she didn't want to do a TV show and I heard the name Mahesh Bhatt, Shobha De. They were making India's first daily soap called Swabhiman. Please ask your mother about it. She will know. <laughs> <laughs> so I in fact called them up and said, okay, can mm. I come and audition? And I did a couple of rounds of audition and that's why I say I'm an accidental actor. I never wanted to be an actor. My brother was a huge star then. And I used to actually scoff at what he used to do. And I really didn't enjoy that. But then, you know, I realized, okay, okay there is something which is going on here. And I went and auditioned for Swabhiman and I got the part of the main uh, guy, Rishabh Malhotra. And that's how it started. And then, you know, life never looked back. So, I'm an accidental actor. That's how I started. Okay. Good questions, both of you. Thanks. Before we let you go, we have a segment called Your Keep Going Mantra. Like mm -hmm. why I told you, give me this promises. Because anything that you tell my audiences, um, they will be inspired to try. Exactly. I don't know whether they will succeed. Mm -hmm. But they will try. At least we can try. Correct. So, has it ever happened to you in your, you know, you're still growing in your career that you felt that it's too much, it's not going to happen, 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 but it's not going to happen. And if something happened, how did you overcome that thought or that moment and how, what did you tell yourself, keep going? Here, in actors' life, every day this thing is that it's not going to happen. We have to do something better, we have to do something good. जो भी हमारे पास है उससे हम खुश नहीं होते। We always keep ये मतलब need के हमें और चाहिए और चाहिए। तो इसमें मैं पहली बात तो meditation is my mantra, fitness is also। लेकिन सबसे ज़्यादा जो मेरा mantra है मेरी मम्मी को call करती हूँ। And मम्मी एक ही चीज़ हमेशा बोलती है जब भी मेरी आँखों से आँसू निकलते हैं या फिर I feel like down। Why did you start it? Your career is like a job that you will get a salary in your house. If you start it, you have to keep going. Sometimes you will stay, sometimes you will not stay. But when you will not stay, then you will have to stay stable. Why did you start it? You want to give up? What is the reason you became an actor? We want to give up in the middle? Or you just want to continue? So mom was basically telling you that don't quit. Very much, very much. That's why mothers are so important man, at all ages. Jason? What's, did you ever feel at some point that yeah, this is not working out and maybe I should quit and start doing something else? I think the wind has always been against me in that sense. Um, family, friends, ki bhai tu idhar kya kar rahe? Yeah. Go to Hollywood. You know, with people your own skin color and things like that. And I've always had those comments. For me, I think today is today and tomorrow is tomorrow. There's a beautiful verse that says, um, don't be anxious for tomorrow because tomorrow will be anxious enough for itself. True. And I think a lot of people are trying to put, life at least to me is like a puzzle. I think everybody wants all the main pieces in the middle of the puzzle at the start of the puzzle. That's yeah, not how it goes. Happen, right. It goes piece by piece, frame by frame. And eventually once you've got a few things figured out, the center starts to fill and all of a sudden you're standing back and you're yeah, looking at it in it. your life. And it's also, as you said, being happy, being content, yeah. telling you, patting yourself on the back, saying, well done, Jason, good job today. You know, you yeah. got through today. Self-love is so important. Yeah, Very it's just important. that one so step, yeah. you know, I think yeah. don't overthink it. Don't try and have so step many, step. Yeah. yeah. Great, if you're a good planner like that, I take one day as it comes. Oh, I'm, I'm a not terrible so planner. good at planning. I'm not good, yeah. So that's why I have Great. a team also making sure my steps are there and that's it. Just take another step. Stay at it. Just take the next step. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for you. sharing your experiences. It really means a lot. Same. And your promise means a lot to me too. Yes, yes. And Jason, Thank I uh, have to Pleasure say something. meeting you. <laughs> I am completely looking at you as, as a new human being because I had a... You were so good in the role <laughs> in Hira Mandi. I thought this is Jason. And when I met you, from the moment I met you, there's a connect which I felt with you, which uh, is very rare. Thank so you. thank you so much for uh, coming and thank, thank you. Thank you so much. And keep doing the good work. I yes. give you all my blessings, my warmth. And uh, today, if you have inspired anybody out there, which you have, my job is done. I will see you um, in the next episode of Unstoppable. Till then, the only thing I can say is take steps baby steps decide why you did what you did 
why you started what you did and you'll make sure that you get the answer if not today tomorrow or day after till then be unstoppable lots of love lots of blessings take care